Okay, let's go to example 169. And this time, we are going to determine uh, inertia. So these are the set of equation for uh, what? Uh, inertia with respect to y and x axis. Okay, so given we have the given boundary, we have a curved uh, surface, we have plane surface, another plane surface. So one, two, three. So this is what we are required to find out. What is the inertia of this? So for uh, inertia with respect to y, we have double integration x squared. So x squared dx dy. Okay. What is the what is the how do we look at what is the uh, limit for x? Okay. What is the limit for x? So when you are looking at outer uh, outer strip dy, so uh, something like this. Okay, this outer, and then we are going to do the inner. So that is the inner. Okay, so this is dy. This is the x. Okay. So in order to avoid complexity we can actually reverse okay if you do it like this it's uh more difficult because from this point to that point that is actually what uh, the value of x but from this point to this point that is x or four minus x okay so x is a uh, this curve this curve is the x. So 4, which is 4, minus x. So from this point to this point. That's why sometimes it is better to use, okay, sometimes, but it is not uh, saying that we cannot do it. We are just avoiding complexity. We want it to be solved as easy as possible People that's why that, that's why we have a strip like this okay so this is the x this is the y sir okay anyone hello di po sir ano po kita ah, yung di isa kita di mo kita okay kita so ito pala yung ano ko camera Okay, so, kasi we will uh, what, 4 minus uh, x, this one we do not need to subtract anything, okay, like this, no, so therefore we can what, interchange, just interchange, Okay, there's no problem about it. Oh, if you interchange, the um, what will happen? The limit will change. Okay, the limit will change because we have what? Interior will become y. So integral what? X squared dy dx. The interior is y from zero to y. Okay. And that is uh, easy because we already have the value of y, which is equal to 2 square root of x. Okay? So therefore, we can uh, put it here. 0 to, zero to uh, 2 square root of x. And then consider x as constant because we are integrated, integrating with respect to y. So therefore, we can immediately... But uh, put the x outside of the integral, okay? And then integrate uh, dy. So 2 square root of x dy, then after which we can now integrate with respect to x. 
So, what about the exterior integral x from 0 to 4? That is from 0 to 5. Right? From 0 to 4. Okay. So, so that 0 to 4 x squared what is the integral of this y? Then substitute this one. So what will happen? 2, then square root of x, then dx. So multiply them all. So x squared times uh, x one half. 2 plus 1 half. 2 plus 1 half. That is uh, what? 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 over 2. All right? So that is what? 2. Okay. X5 over 2 dx. Okay. And then this is what? Uh, integral plus, four, plus 1. 5 over 2 plus 1. That is 7. Okay. That is 7 over 2. Or 2 over 7. And then x7 over 2 from what? From 0 to 4. And therefore, we can find out, we can find out the value is 4 over 7. 4. Square root of 4 is uh, 2. 2 times 2. Okay. So 2 to the 7 power. So two, what? two to the seven power. Okay. What is two to the seven power? Uh, two to the p power is thirty-two. Thirty-two times four. Okay. So anyway, that is the answer. <laughs> what? <laughs> But uh, 32 times 4, that is 8, that is 128, okay? 128 times 4, that is what? Uh, 32, 3, uh, 8, 1, 1, 5, 600, 5, no? One, so five, five twelve. Okay, so therefore five hundred twelve over seven. For i y, okay. So let us uh, do the i x. Huh? I x. Is integral integral, y squared, d x d y. Okay, so whichever is easier, no? So, okay, so, we can do in the same, in the same uh, orientation with the last one. So, uh, dy dx, no? dy dx, right? So let's do it uh, dy dx. Integral, integral, y squared dy dx. Okay. So what is the uh, limit for y? 0 to 2 square root of x. What is the limit for x? That is uh, 0 to 4. 0 to 4. Okay. So. Oh, let us uh, immediately integrate. 0 to 4, integral of y squared is y cubed over 3 from 0 to 2 square root of x. dx. Okay? So, one third. I substitute it here. 
two square root of x cubed. So two to the third power, that is eight. And then x to the third power, which is already square root. So that is what? Three halves and dx, okay? So that is only a power formula. Therefore, eight over three, three halves plus one, that is five halves or two over five, x five halves from zero to four. So if you substitute zero, that is zero, substitute four, four uh, square root, that is two, two to the fifth is 32, okay? So what, uh, eight over three, two, five times 32, okay? Okay, so that is the value, okay? So we cannot cancel anything. You can cancel anything. No? So this is uh, what? 16 times uh, 32. Okay. So therefore, what? 16 times 32. Let us 12. This is 18, 19. This, this is 32, this is 2, 1, 5, 12, okay? 5, 1, 12 over 15, okay? So 5, 12 over 15. So IY is 5, 1, 12 over 7. Now X is 5, 1, 12 over 15, okay? So that is the final answer. IX. I y is equal to five hundred twelve over fifteen and five hundred twelve over seven. This is our answer. Okay. Any question? If there's none, again there's Dr. Ripi, teaching engineering formation.